What up, Pittsburgh Steelers fans? It's Matty Peverell with you reacting to the Cole Holcomb signing. I've just woken up in Australia. It's just about to go 20 to 7 a.m. Um, so it's 6.40 a.m. here. Just woken up. Just saw the Cole Holcomb signing. Wanted to get on with you guys. Just do a quick reaction to it. Um, look, Cole Holcomb, I'll just give you straight off the bat. Um, I'll show a couple of stats and stuff as usual. But um, Cole Holcomb someone that I do really like. Uh, sometimes sign him in Madden. Um, I somehow escaped me that... I knew that he was coming off contract, but I thought he was a restricted free agent with Washington. So I actually didn't really ever have him factoring into the Steelers um, from a linebacker position. He's a bit more of a bread and butter linebacker. Um, I'm really actually in a lot of ways like Miles. Jack comes with the hype um, and the name from some of the things he was able to do early on in Jacksonville and some of the promise he showed through the draft. Cole Holcomb has said, more of your bread and butter player more of a guy that's going to like do the things that Robin St Robert Spillane does better, a lot better. Uh, I actually think he's really what you, he's a, he's a classic three, four linebacker. I think it's going to be really beneficial for the Steelers as well. Sorry, my hood's playing up. I'm not doing that. It's funny on YouTube. Um, but yeah, I think he's someone that's going to be like really, really helpful for that Steelers defense, give you a bunch of tackles. Uh, I think it's an awesome signing. Hard to sort of grade the signing um, until obviously they start playing for the Steelers. Obviously hard to, sit there and say this is a good deal or a bad deal we don't even know the terms yet he's it's per physical it's also um on a three-year term i think he's here i think we're hearing from ogan joby's situation last year i think that you know cole holcomb will definitely be um a pittsburgh stealer now we will just have a quick look at his stats because i think it's pretty cool when i talk about bread and butter player um cole holcomb he has averaged it's over seven and a half and more toward eight tackles a game since I get rid of this hood. Apologies for the bed hair. Um, but I, yeah, he's averaged almost eight tackles a game since he entered the league. He's played 50 games, came into the league in 29 there um, out of uh, North Carolina. He has three interceptions on his career, um, four and a half sacks. So I said, he's just more of this big tackling run, stuffling, um, run stopping, run stopping, uh, cornerback there, six foot one, 240 pounds. So he's just this meaty guy that's going to get out a bunch of production for you. His AV is not too bad, too. Um, so that kind of reflects, you know, how he was drafted, but he was drafted in the fifth round. He's probably got stats that reflect the second, third round linebacker, um, over the last few years. So, you know, this is something that the Steelers haven't had to invest there. And we've used second and thirds on offense, and now we've got a really cheap offense and a really young offense. Um, like most of our starters are under 26, 27. Um, so this is a guy you bring in who's young there. Uh, Washington can't pay everyone. He gets out. Like, I know a little bit about Ron Rivera, obviously, from the way he coached Carolina Panthers and when he was defensive coordinator at the Chargers. He's really big on on having a um, having good linebacker play, um, particularly more when it is in that 3-4 scheme. So uh, I do think that... Um, that even though oh, actually a lot of his teams have played 4-3, but if you, you've got to think about that, maybe they do have the injury cloud. That's why he's available. Um, he wears jersey number 55, so that's free. You can take that from Devin Bush. We don't have to worry about um, the Patrick Peterson stuff there. But as I say, in, a, in, in two seasons where he played all 16 games, he had kind of combined over 100 tackles in both of those years. One of them was 142 in 2021, 83 solo tackles. Um, pretty incredible. I'm going to keep this video short, so I'm not going to do a comparison to Miles Jack at the moment, but you'll hear more from that over the coming days um, on, on our channel and Steelers Touchdown Under. And as always, and it was Steelers TDU on Apple, Anchor, and Spotify. And if you like our shows, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to us before and you want to, you want to hear more from us, Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, and you even get the notifications. Um, and then you know when we're doing. We do do lives um, once to twice a week as well. Um, and one of those is always going to be on a Friday evening. Anyway, back to Cole Holcomb. 15 tackles for a loss, as I say. So he, he's a guy that can really produce. Um, he, from a coverage perspective, um, has but sort of, you know, he's okay. This is where I say he's a bit like Robert Spillane. Um, he's sort of allowed 83.7 completions. That's his worst year in 2019 when he was a rookie. Um, 36 completions on 43 targets. Um, last year, he allowed 16 completions on 22 targets for 72%. Um, so coverage isn't as coverage is not going to be his ball game. Um, but I don't think that's a bad thing because he will do the things that 
the Steelers ultimately probably want from Mark Robinson or hope Mark Robinson can become, you get this guy there now. You can't afford to rely on that Mark Robinson. You can't afford to rely on the Steelers getting a um, one of the top linebackers in the draft either. It gives them the opportunity to, and they can get really young at that room, um, which would be really cool because Cole Holcomb's only 26. Um, they also can go over after someone like a Henry Toto that is going to be um, better in sub package is a bit of a small guy, a bit of a faster guy, a bit of more coverage guy. Um, this really opens that up. And it also opens you up to a more hybrid safety linebacker in like the fifth round, like a Leo Chanel um, kind of situation um, who ended up with um, uh, uh, the Chiefs, I think he ended up going to. Um, so yeah, kind of cool from that perspective. Look, in seasons, in games where he's able to play, you see this in 21, 21, 2022, 99% of the snaps, um, a low of 63%. That's when he was a rookie. Um, but he still produced uh, playing 700 snaps in that year. Uh, worst year was 2020, where he only um, played in, in 11 games, 77% of snaps. So you are going to get snaps from him. Um, I would have liked to have said he's just a bread and butter linebacker that makes those tackles, that produces for you, plays a bunch of snaps. Um, and is reliable. The only thing that you can say there around it is whether there's that injury concern. That's the that's the only thing um, that, and obviously that the fact is into the Steelers three year deal pending that condition. And I, I I don't know what the numbers will be. We can have a look at that toward the end of the show. Um, but that's really like Cole Holcomb from at least the Pro Football Reference side of things. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop sharing that, and we're going to have a look at. Not that I fully trust these grades. Um, I only have pro football reference for the full reason of um, college football and looking at prospects and stuff. Um, but if you go to, if we, from a PFF perspective, um, that he had a defensive grade of 66 last year. You see his record with, or his best year was 72. Uh, run defense, um, best year was in 2019 when he was a, when he was a rookie. Um, second best year was in the last year. Tackling grade was the best last year. Pass rush grade was low. He's a linebacker. Like it depends how he's being implemented in the scheme he's in. That's where this is a bit misleading. Um, and coverage was a better year for him, which is kind of cool. Um, quarterback hits say he's not a guy that's getting into the quarterback, but we got plenty of that at the Pittsburgh Steelers. He's only had four in his career, according to PFF. Um, then you also have uh, tackles overall. They've got him at 275 versus. 388 on pair on pro football reference. I'm going to go off pro football reference every time. Um, they have in these tackles at averaging 10.2%. That's not too bad when you're making like 100 plus tackles. Um, and then they have um, overall yards allowed of, of 1,285 um, from a coverage perspective. Um, again, I, I debate some of these numbers, but you know, some people like PFF, so giving you a sense of a sense of what that looks like. Um, from him, and they have him playing 2,740 snaps overall. So as you can see, with Cole Holcomb, we've got a guy that's like definitely really big on the production side of things um, from the run, run tackle, um, and tackling and stopping the run. And I think that's like that's a, that's a really good thing for what this Steelers team need. We, we've seen in recent years them struggle with this, um, and that's a concern. We don't want that as Pittsburgh Steel fans. We want to be able, you don't want that in the AFC North in the way that it's set up. Um, so yeah, from that perspective, I, I really like this. I think these are the bread and butter signings you need um, that actually like get you two wins, get you two Super Bowls um, at the moment. So look, in terms of linebackers and, and the board right now, we've seen several linebackers go. Um, you know, we, we missed out. Um, on Leighton Van Der Esch, um, when you when you think about Rokon Smith signed a massive deal with the Ravens, you saw the deal that um, you know during, before the season ended. You saw the massive deal um, that Tremaine Edmonds signed with the Bears. Um, TJ Edwards was off the board there early as well. So you know it's it's hard to equate what um, you know, the value in this pick yet until we get the numbers. But that's something I'm looking forward to covering over the next few days with Marky D on my our touchdown under ch um, show that the TDU boys um, said, which goes live on the Friday. Look, Robert Spillane, they don't have him on over the cap yet because they wait for some of the details to come through. Robert Spillane obviously said that $9 million deal two years um, with the Raiders. I think if I'm going to give a prediction on contract right now, 
I think you're probably going to see a contract. What did TJ Edwards exactly sign for? Uh, I think TJ Edwards signed a three-year, $19 million deal. Um, I'm just loading that up on over the cap. Uh, his contract with the Bears is... Yeah, 19 and a half over three. I think you'll see something similar for Cole Holcomb. I think you'll see like 21 and a half. If they can get it 18, around 18, even better. Um, but yeah, that's my quick reaction to the Steelers apparently signing um, and going through the medicals for TJ Holcomb. Thanks very much, guys.